so I think you're going to be able to guess where I am to take pictures. What is this presentation about? Uh, you know, we are protesters against the Sudan Council, Sudan Military Council right now. They are moving the dictatorship of Bashir, and there is a military gay, like military member now. Yeah. They are like leader in Sudan or the government, and they have to pass. The government is a civilian or civil, uh, civilian like civilian people or civilian government, okay. but they are holding right now, and we are trying to push them to move, and we need all of the world community or like that to push this uh, military council to give the authority to the civilian people, the civilian authority. Okay. So the government is military abusing the... Council, military, transitional military council. Okay. Transitional military council. Okay. Transitioning American council, you're saying? You know, you know Sudan? Yeah. We, like, before, like, uh, one month or three months, we have, like, leadership or dictatorship, President Omar al-Bashir, okay. you know, Omar al-Bashir, and there is some military, like, military member or journal or like that yeah. in, uh, in the army, yeah. they are stole the government, now, right now, the authority, all of the authority, yeah. and they are the government right now. Uh, so actually government. It's called Transitional Military Council. Uh, okay. It's like group from the army people or yeah. army members. And they have to pass the government, they have to pass the authority to civilian people, to civilian authority. But they don't want to do that. You know? Okay. They are holding right now. Okay. Uh, they, kill, they kill all of these people. They are protesters in Sudan as they can. We have sit in right now. So there's no freedom of speech. No freedom of everything, not just speech. No freedom of everything. Freedom of speech, or no justice, no anything. Yeah. And we have now protesters in Sudan. They are sit in. Sit in. Do you mind, do you mind if I put your face on here? On the video? Okay, no problem. Okay. Can you split what we were just saying? Uh, my name is Amar Gawha. Okay. Um, here I'm like protest we are protesters in America, we are a group of protesters in America. We're trying to like to involve everybody, the White House, Congress in our problem with the transition and military council in Sudan because they stole the government right now and they have to wish the government the authority to civilian authority, yeah. Okay. Civilian people, yeah. Right. As they are killed the protesters, all of the protesters, right? They are killed them right now. You know? Um, we have sit in, you know, sit in. They, are, they have a people sit in, they are staying. Like, now, like, more than 30 days, they are staying in uh, in, uh, in army uh, headquarters. It's called the Yad Arm, it's the Arm headquarters. Yeah. Well, I, I hope Sudan finds peace and the people can have justice. Thank you. Yeah. Good luck. Bye. Nuclear power, uh, nuclear weapons are uh, what they dropped in Japan. Sorry, sorry. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so I just asked Filipos here what he thinks about the abortion laws that have recently happened in Alabama and Georgia, and I just wanted to hear your input. Okay. While when 
my wife is in us when she was pregnant with our twins, um, we decided that we were going to have them and give birth to them. That means we made our choice. Yeah. Um, they were stillborn. But we made our, our choice was that they would have been birthed and therefore once they're birthed they have the rights of a civilian of that nation or a citizen of that nation. Yes. But so I since me and Zinash got to make our choice, we, why would we want to take away anybody else's choice? Their choice doesn't be have to be the same choice I made. Yeah. And we made together as a couple. Yeah. But it's still a choice. And I'm not somebody that's going to step in the way of... First of all, I'm not the possessor of the female birthing canal. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think... I think that actually... Um, it's one that at least very hard, -wing, hard right wing males want to always tell me how wrong I am when I say, oh, no, I just don't have it. I don't have a vagina. I don't think that I should be. Um, yeah. I don't think that I should be the one regulating the rules on the possessors of the vagina. I think that that should be something that women should be allowed to vote on. Yeah. Some people, oh, that's a question. A guy participation in a pregnancy yeah. can be two and a half hours, but it could be a minute twenty five seconds. Yeah. <laughs> While a woman delivering a healthy child, non incubator healthy child, would be seven and a half months to nine and a half months. Because sometimes those little guys don't want to come out on time. Yeah. So it can go a little bit longer. So a non incubator baby, because I'm not saying that some aren't born at twenty six or twenty eight weeks mm -hmm. and in the incubator they can end up living. So but how can you make a law? Uh, okay, for the instance of in Alabama, there's a little girl that's 11 years old uh, who yes. is carrying a child through her having been raped by somebody that was near the family. Yeah. And according to the new law, if they wait too long, she won't be able to have a statutory rape an abortion of rape. Yeah. I mean, incest, statutory rape, case of mom, or if they wish to keep it and then all of a sudden they, you know, do ultrasounds and see that that child is malformed and, and they just, for any reason that the, the parents or the one parent chooses, hey, we have to make a decision. And, and our decision is going to be to terminate because if it's a child that you could already tell has got spinal spadifa yeah and it's gonna live to six exactly and and some some people talk about uh, um adoption and giving a like every child a chance but the thing is is that if you give birth to a child like that and then you give them up for adoption then a lot of parents are not going to want to adopt right, exactly. So now, and I don't have any but any problem yeah. with, with a young lady saying, Why don't, um, but again, it would be her choice. Yeah. I will carry them, and then I'll choose adoption. I, as long as that word choice isn't taken off the table, it would be her choice to carry them and then adopt. Yeah. It would be her choice to birth them or a single child. I say them because our situation is twins. Mm -hmm. Or it would be her choice to terminate. Yeah. And it's termination of pregnancy. I don't call it termination of what the pro-lifers like to call it. Yeah. I say termination of life. Um, now, they want to even make the morning after pill illegal. But, but they're trying to make that morning after pill illegal? Yeah, they're, going, they're trying to write that into the law too. But there is no separate heartbeat uh, before the sixth week. Now, they're all going on this heartbeat thing for six weeks. But 
to me, if, if it's, vi it's viable living to if it was separated from the mother's umbilical cord and put in in an incubator, then there'd be a chance of that child living. But the, the youngest ever has been 23 weeks. The youngest ever that was put into an incubator, we're talking about three weeks less than half a year. Five, five months and one week that has survived. 23 weeks has been the youngest ever that has survived. So um, I don't know how it's six weeks and maybe not closer to that 23 or 24 weeks. Yeah. You know, if if they're going to make that law, which I don't like the law, I think it stinks too. Because I don't, you see, I don't, me and Zenas don't consider ourselves superior to anybody else. Mm -hmm. So, if we were allowed freedom of choice, yeah. then who are we and how superiority complex do we think we are that we should have been allowed choice and somebody else not been allowed choice? Yeah. So, yeah, a lot of people, well, I'm a murderer, I go, okay, I'm a murderer, but I chose for our, our children, not I chose, but we, as a loving married couple, yeah. chose to birth. But we made a choice. Thank you. That, was, that's, yeah, so yeah, I understand it. It wasn't a mandate by a, yeah. by a government or by men that will never, Yeah, to me never that's just to too invasive, right. in, in my opinion. Because, I mean, when I was younger, I used to be pro-life because I didn't quite understand, like, the whole gist of it. But now I'm just like, if a, if a developing child does not have, let's say, a brain yet, or, or at least the essential parts that create a conscious, and if they're... If they're like, if they're hardly looking like a human baby, then I, you know, to me, I don't think that it's murder. You know, it's just making an important decision. Yeah. Thank you for talking with me. Yeah, yeah. And I want to mention to whoever's gonna watch this that I have recorded an interview with him before the Filipos, but the the audio got destroyed. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Yeah, 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 yeah. Coming out like a pop-out. Yeah. What's your thing? Like a pop-out. Yeah. 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 Ye